So um, I'd like to begin, this is my um, first Friday series, um, and my first guest is the lovely, talented, beautiful, my hero, and my love, <laughs> Jocelyn Nicole Johnston. Um, so um, you get ready to do a little short reading. Um, can you tell me a little bit about it before we begin, and uh, your, um, your inspiration for it, and after you're done with it? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to read a super, super short reading. I actually wrote this last summer before the pandemic and before quarantine. And I'm like a compulsive list maker. Here's one of my lists. Like I make lists all the time. This is like my monthly list. And then I make daily lists and there's categories. So this is the story in form of a list. So each thing's like a little checkbox. Um, and I was thinking about even last summer about um, how to plan for a future that feels particularly fragile or even like kind of tilting towards catastrophe. Like how do you kind of deal with that? So this is called Buying a House Ahead of the Apocalypse. Yes. So I'm going to be reading here, guys. So sit back and relax. Bear with me. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening. Buying a house ahead of the apocalypse. Scour online listings daily. Find a house ahead of your 40th, ahead of your imminent doom. Never mind that a house is an investment, a belief that things on the whole will get better. Find a house on, the hill, on a hill set back from the road, a sturdy brick rancher or a quaint bungalow that needs work. Search outside of Richmond, not too far from the city since your daughter's still finishing art school here. Keep up your commute, rising well before dawn to burn up the road to Williamsburg. Never mind the long drive, the lights you left on, the broke toilet your landlord won't fix, which is always, always running. Catch the older lady at your credit union, the one with the smoldering accent who makes the loans, the one who reminds me of your own, who reminds you of your own mother, if Ma had been brown and Latina instead of black with an Uhuru do hailing from Carolina. Wear your hair bone straight, a fresh weave with the itch of cornrows beneath, like something true but hidden. Tell that older bank lady you're earning way, ma way more now than ever, though a third as much as anyone else in your office, you know because you manage their books. Confide there's a blazing cake birthday on your horizon. Ask her, for real, what can she do for you? Check your credit score with the app on your phone when you bolt awake in the middle of the night. Scroll to see how swiftly the Amazon burns. Scroll to see how many masses of species have been lost or consumed within the last 24 hours. Scroll to see which items you've saved in your cart primed and ready to ship at your beck and call. Flip the phone to the bed, to the bread, bed sheets to dampen its glare and stare up at the blackened ceiling. Lift your phone again, refresh, refresh to see what might have changed. Watch Terminator 2 for the umpteenth time at the gym on the treadmill with your cell phone in your palm. Marvel at the heroine Sarah Connor, a hellbent single mother voiceovering the end of mankind. Jog faster still as you see how buff Connors become, working out in tie pants and a tissue white tank in the sanitarium where she's been committed. The men with the key smirk like that bee is crazy, but Connors just facing the truth of what's barreling home. Imagine yourself like a black Sarah Connor eyes open at least, core strong and ready. Turn up the slope, the bleeding speed, and run. Oh, I have a little present for you. Do you have a present for me? Oh, I love it. That's beautiful, Daryl. Thank you. <laughs> quickly, so what can we look forward to in the future? So I'm so excited. I'm going to have my first debut book of fiction come out next fall, and it's called My Monticello, and it's five stories, including this one um, and a novella that takes place at Thomas Jefferson's Montef Monticello in the near future, and it's it's definitely, um, I'm, I'm excited to share it. I'm so excited and looking forward to it. 
<laughs> and uh, I'd like to thank you, Jocelyn, Nicole, Johnson. You're my hero. I love you. Thank you. And good night. Bye-bye. I love you, Daryl. Goodbye. Yeah.